When the diameter of the piston is known, the machinist will know the exact size to hone the cylinder walls to. The hone will do two things. First, it will size out the cylinder bore to the exact spec that is needed to give the specified amount of clearance between the piston and the cylinder wall. Second, it will leave a fine crosshatch pattern of light scratches on the walls of the cylinder. As the stones go up and down in the cylinders, the machine flashes a light when the stones are at the bottom of the bore and a meter tells the machinist how heavy the load on the stones is. The balance between the speed of the stroke and the load on the meter is what will return the cylinder to a perfectly straight and round bore. A dial bore gauge is used a lot in the honing process. When the size of the bore reaches a specific point, it'll be time to change to a finer grit stone to slow down the metal removal and provide a smoother surface. There are three grades of stones used during the honing. When one side is complete, the block is flipped over and all three grades of stones are used for the other side of the block. When all the cylinders are at spec and within one ten thousandth of an inch, the stones are changed out for some brushes. The brushes will be run with the honing oil to clean as much of the grit out of the cross hashes as possible before the final wash. After the hone, the block is ready to go.